by the sun. And likely to stay that way through the rest of the week and through the weekend too. Now this weather front has brought a lot of heavy rain to northern parts of uh, Scotland. You can see it on the radar last night, many places getting over an inch of rain. It's beginning to ease out just now, but it's been really wet in Aberdeen. They've had the wettest September on record, and we're only up to the 12th, of course. Up at Kinloch, near Inverness, they've had the wettest month on record there. And the wettest place I've seen up to now is Ince Marlow, just to the southwest of Aberdeen, where they've had nearly 270 millimetres of rain so far. That's over 10 and a half inches. Now, the scene outside for most of you is looking a bit like this, these heavy clouds giving some showers and giving some thunderstorms too. And we've had a report at uh, Great Dunlow in Essex, hailstones the size of big marbles. We used to call them alleys, I remember, one inch across there. And it looks as though we're going to keep these heavy showers and storms going over many parts of England and Wales, up across into Northern Ireland uh, through this evening. But they will be dying out inland, I think, as we go through the night, staying near the coast and turning out pretty misty inland as the temperatures get down to between 5 and 6 degrees or so. That's around the 40 degrees Fahrenheit mark. So as we go into uh, Wednesday morning, a lot of mist and fog patches uh, around there, I think. It's going to be on the uh, patchy side. You can see it running down from uh, Yorkshire right the way southwards, I think, as we come down in towards the central part uh, and then down into southern areas. But as I say, it is going to turn out to be very, very patchy there and clearing away by the middle part of the morning to give some sunshine, certainly. A fair amount of showers along this western side running along the uh, southern coast, too. They'll be developing, I think, inland as we go through the day. Not as many as today. By the afternoon, most of them will have died out in the west and southwest, but still some very heavy ones up in that uh, northeastern part of England and southeastern parts of Scotland. There could be some quite heavy showers mixed in through there. These are the temperatures, 17 or 18 degrees. That sort of thing, I think, through tomorrow, up to about 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Low pressure then dominating the uh, scene, I think, as we go through over the next few days. And then for Thursday, Mr.